I've been noticing geometric pattern using royal icing all over social media recently and that really inspired me to give it a try myself even though I am not the best with royal icing it's still a relatively new technique for me um, especially on macarons I don't know a lot about it but here we go let's give this a try for the first time <laughs> together um, I'm just going to draw on paper before I get into the actual macaron the design I'm going for so we're going to create three different kinds of lines the first one I like to go in at a diagonal um, and then after that diagonal I'm going to go through um, without turning the macaron and just go through with some straight horizontal lines these straight lines across are going to um, create like a diamond sort of shape if you look between each of the lines so at first it's just stripes and now we've created some diamonds The next thing that we want to do is a third line going in with a diagonal line from the opposite direction and this time that um, diagonal line is going to be creating a triangle shape so the really important thing with these lines is that you are going through um, the sections where the previous two lines are crossing each other in order to create those triangles otherwise it is possible to draw um, <laughs> three sets of lines and not end up with the right shapes or to end up with some of the right shapes and not in other places um, so this pattern although it is very logical and once you get the hang of it it is very simple in the beginning if you are just free handing it um, it can be a little bit confusing after all of those lines are in and you have those triangles then we're going to go in and draw three lines going from the points of the triangle in towards the center and then that will be the final <laughs> geometric design so now that we've done that on paper let's do it on a macron with royal icing this attempt is i did this video with my first ever attempt um, and i am sorry that i did not set um, the video to focus on my macaron. I'm sorry that sometimes it's focusing on my hand. I do apologize for that distraction. Um, it is not the best, but here we are with my first attempt and this first go around I decided to use a piping tip. I think I have tip like zero on right now. It might be number one um, but whatever it is, it's very small um, and I realized after making this at first, those lines, it seems very normal and very workable and doable. But after that, I realized that with all of the lines going in in the little triangles, this piping tip is actually way too big for it to have a really clean finish. Um, so you'll notice in the next macaron I show, if you skip ahead a little bit, I'm just using a piping bag that I've cut just a tiny fraction of the tip off of um it was also a little bit hard for me the challenge of creating the right consistency because you want the royal icing to be uh, loose enough that you can pipe it really easily but also it needs to hold its shape enough so that you do get this really beautiful texture in addition to the geometric design so those were kind of the main struggles for me in this first macarons um, but i will say in general creating these lines um, was 
okay. It was manageable. It really is just that going in after that and having this space to create the designs inside all of the triangles you create uh, is a challenge and also it's incredibly time consuming. Each macaron took me several minutes to decorate and even though I only ended up doing like 10 macarons like this, it took me such a long time, like more than an hour. It was crazy. So anyway, I'm sure it is one of those skills that you will get faster at the longer you go at this, but definitely if you are making macarons to sell or to give away as a gift or anything, disclaimer, this might not be the best unless you are just making a handful of them or you're just doing this to practice or for an Instagram photo or something like that uh, because wow I think a lot of practice is needed <laughs> and a lot of time goes into this. As I mentioned, especially with this first go around with the piping tip that I was using, inside those triangles is really what was a challenge, especially because, and as I mentioned, I'm not a pro with royal icing. Um, I ended up having a lot of kind of clumping near the corners of the triangles and then in like the center where everything was meeting. And I just felt like it looked not so clean and those kind of dots where all of the royal icing was collecting um it just didn't have the really nice finished look that i was going for um i think if i were going to be adding some like large sprinkles or other colors or trying to make this look a little bit more like i had flowers on it or something like that i think it could have worked but just for having a plain old geometric design, I think uh, this first one that I tried kind of missed the mark. So I'm going to go in and do this another time. Like I said, without the piping tips, you can see the difference. Right now I am piping. This is my real piping speed. Um, I know it's kind of frustrating to watch. It is so slow. Um, but I'm going to fast forward just a tiny bit for these next um, clips here so that you don't go insane and lose all of your brain cells watching my snail-like piping. One other tip that I have heard from other bakers and other people who tried this technique on macarons or cookies, uh, I'm talking like royal icing, like frosted cookies, um, is that you can actually print off like a geometric pattern template to put under your macaron so that you can follow those guidelines and go like pipe where those lines are going and that can really help you with those straight initial lines and the diagonals and forming those perfect diamonds and then the triangles within them um, especially if this design is new to you another thing that i have seen other especially cookiers um, who do a lot of royal icing tricks they have those kind of projector things that project the design so if you are someone who has access 
to something like that, you could also find a geometric design and project that onto your macaron, again, just to help with those super, super straight lines. All right, I'll show you another angle here. This one last one, I feel like, I think you can see this as well, that even just with practicing on a couple macarons, I was definitely getting the hang of it. Um, definitely there is a learning curve that I wasn't necessarily prepared for or expecting, um, especially since I make macarons so often, I kind of thought that it would be a little bit easier to pick up. But um, yeah, here's another look at how I made them. This one a little bit more successfully than the others, um, but it was really fun. And no matter how yours turn out, whether you're doing a macaron or whatever it is, because this is a royal icing design, um, even though the lines are quite thin, um, you don't want to ruin your hard work by trying to fill this right away and then smudging everything. So definitely let these just be at room temperature on your counter, on a tray, whatever, um, to make sure that royal icing is completely hardened up before you fill and get these into your refrigerator or freezer. because I went for a very springy kind of pink and white vibe here pretty simple um, color wise not <laughs> design wise oh my gosh um, I wanted to reflect that in the filling and so I just have a really simple strawberry buttercream my very favorite way to create a strawberry buttercream is by making my Italian uh, meringue method buttercream recipe and then at the end once everything is completely incorporated and finished I just fold in some powdered freeze-dried strawberries that is such a bright vibrant flavor and I think it really matches any pink shell like this so because my royal icing is completely hardened and dry I can sandwich these touch them whatever just like I would any other macaron and then and just like any other macaron, these will go into the freezer or refrigerator for at least 24 hours to mature before you can bite into them. I hope you enjoyed exploring this geometric design with me. I certainly enjoyed playing around with it for the first time myself and bringing you along with me. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I'd love to see you here again next time. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!